Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Has Been Hotel. Um, tonight, episode uh, two of this uh, hellish little show. The big question, what happened on last episode? Let me just real quick do a little mini, we scroll through a little boom, a um, little mini recap of where we're at, and then we'll jump into episode two. The situation. You know the craziest thing about this show? This is something I just thought. The craziest thing, there is so much happening already in one episode, and there's only eight of these hoes. So, like, how are they gonna, like, how much are they gonna hit is my big question, right? So, like, the couple things that are going on, we have the big grand narrative of, like, the, the potentiality of redeeming a sinner, you know, which is Charlie's goal. Homegirl's home girl dedicated to it. That's, like, the premise of the hotel. So that's, like, one entire thing. We have whatever's going on, like, the daddy issues, familial issues with Charlie that, like, attaches in really smoothly, as I was talking about last time, to that first thing, right? Then we have, like, what, Alistair? Alistair? I, don't, I think Alistair. For Scary Radio Man. Then we have Scary Radio Man, which is like an like a weird situation where he's going to obviously keep causing us like issues every once in a while. Like like we're signing a deal with the devil to even make the hotel happen, so that's probably gonna hoe us at some point. So that's like another angle going on. And then now we got this six month time limit before we get absolutely bombelschmacked by the next um hell invasion by the angels. So it's like four things we got to deal with the angels from hell coming or the, the angels coming we got to deal with whatever look alistair chilling look at his goofy little mug here do you see this guy he's like oh six months <laughs> right on time he does not care um yeah so like it's crazy i feel like there's already so much going on um and so i'm really excited to see like how they interweave all these different things you know even and even like little things too like whatever's going on with nifty bro I mean, homegirl got no thoughts in her head here in this scene. Wait, like right, right here when they're looking at the TV. Homegirl got no thoughts in the noggin right now. Like I ain't gonna pretend. But earlier with her little random like stare to the camera stuff. Like even these side characters we got we gotta cook with, you know, um, just to see what they're doing. So I feel like there's a lot going on which I really really like, um, because it, it, it anything they do I'm ready for because there's so much to interact with. So. That's, I mean, I think that's the um, the success of a good first episode, which means I'm really, really excited to jump into this next episode. Um, musicals are great, too. Kind of want to see if they do another musical number. But yeah, so, I don't know. Without further ado, I kind of want to just jump into it, right? We we um, got the six months thing. Angels are coming. That's going to suck for us. This episode's called Radio Killed the Video Star. Is that what that was called? Radio? <laughs> scary. That's the scariest word you could give me right now. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do with the show, where they take this, uh, and honestly, without further ado, I say let's just jump into this episode two of Husband Hotel. This time I didn't watch it on YouTube, uh, off the YouTube video. This is straight off the, the correct source, right? So we got nice looking captions this time, um, which is a, a marked improvement from last time, from last episode. But yeah, um, episode two, let's get this going in a three, a two, a one. Bang! <laughs> Oh, and, and while you're here starting the episode, um, pip in the description if there is one. I don't know if I'm going to need to do one or not. And also, like the video, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You already know how it goes. Just down there if you're feeling free. Timer in the bottom left. It should already be going. It's right here. It should already be cooking. You know what I'm saying? Like, 13, 14. Imagine if I counted correctly there. That'd be crazy. Okay. And the little cat creature, like, what is even going on there? Like, the history, the history of Charlie's, like, familial lineage with, like, Lilith and, um, freaking everyone. Okay, wait, I, Kitty, 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 Kitty. What's the Kitty's name? What, uh, Kitty, like, K-E-Y, Titty. I mean, like, Kitty. Okay, shut up. Bro, imagine if they actually kept cutting it down. Three months, one and a half months. <laughs> yeah. Who are you texting? Valentino? Valentino. Oh my goodness, she's pissed. I, I very vaguely remember her from the, I think the pilot. Very vaguely. Because that was like three years ago. Okay. That's probably always happening in the Doomsday District. Oh, Val's your boss. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, dude, the musical notes. The musical notes were like literally the build up to the idea. You could feel it with the musical notes. That's so fun. <laughs> My lord. Hey, 
Who's showing up on our doorstep? Sir Pentalus? Not of the eggs, bro. Oh, he's right there. Oh, dear. Pentius. My fault, my fault. Not Pentius. Pentius. Like a pension. Bro, the radio fuzz. I freaking love Nifty, bro. Wait, Nifty... Her saying that got me feeling kind of... Okay, okay, okay. Damn. Damn. V's? Okay, we gotta remember that name. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Nifty. Bro, I am Nifty, bro. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength. Ooh, Vox Tech. Hmm. Oh, we buying it. Okay, those are definitely angel... Where, those got angel stuff in them, right? They're like survey drones for the angels or something. Oh, wait, not for the angels, for this guy. Okay, JK. Velvetti? What? Velvet, Velvet. Ooh, that's a sick name. Vox. Oh my goodness, so many names are being thrown around. Okay, so Vox got the freaking. Who's... Oh my, someone's dead. I guess that's normal. Dude, this guy's got the craziest design. Hey, me too, brother. Oh, okay, this guy's attached to Angel Dust then. Okay. Cause oh cause Valentino's attached to I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I mean where else are you gonna stream your uh, your angel shows, right? Gotta use the Vox Tech uh, computer TV Wi Fi. <laughs> oh yeah. Love potion by Velvet in the back. Okay. Hey! Okay, he ha he a hypnotizer. I got you. Dude, all these like signs in the background are, are like the posters. Oh damn. Velvet, kind of a, kind of a move. Velvet, I'll just call you Velvet, my fault. Okay. Flat face prince is crazy to describe Vox. What, there's a cat down here? <laughs> There we go. That's definitely the one. <laughs> Who are these two? Wait. Oh my goodness, I like those two. Those two are sick. What are you smoking? Are you a moth? Wait, what are you? Oh shoot, okay. This guy's crazy. Valentino. What's wrong with my boy, Angel Dust? Mildly. <laughs> He's allowed to move. That's what most, okay. That's crazy. Damn. Charlie's like as far as you can Never mind. This guy's overloading me. Oh. Why are all the tech people scary, dude? Hey, fuck it up. Hey, fuck it up. Hey, fuck it up. 
Look it up. True, the optics, the optics. Stay here. Yeah. You gotta make them think they came up with the idea. That's what, that's the move there. Vox kind of a manipulator. Oh my goodness, there's a little heart in that too. In the little zippy zappies. Dang. Oh, he's about to name drop Alistair, bro. Because TVV Radio, that was the title, something, something, radio. The radio demon. Oh, he called him the radio demon. Oh, that's crazy. That's scarier, bro. Came back from where? Oh, he a zippy zapper. Dude, let Alistair cook. He's having fun, bro. Oh, the egg. Honestly, good. I'm sick of those eggs. Oh. You ripped my cloak. Oh, it repaired. Well, no, it's kind of ripped up. Bro, I'm well aware it's rated 16+. plus. Get out of here. <laughs> a wall what are those no why are you trying to why are you trying to bang them angel dust they already they're already doing the labor that's what i'm saying like Oh, musical number. Okay. Seven years. Why did he leave? Wait, if he won, why did he leave? That's the question, bro. Okay, okay. Bro's in his like bat cave. New status quo, that was a good line. I actually like that a little bit. Hey, that's me, that's me right there. Oh, you, oh, you talking about him on the news. Unremarkable or lose, <laughs> okay. Oh, he's just trying, okay, he's slandering him. Slandering on the, Uh, is it all about who's getting the attention from the viewers? Is that really the play here? Okay. To video. Ew. I'm not eating that. He split. Da -da. I just want to sing along. I don't even know it, but I want to sing along. Oh. Oh, he's got his own little radio show. Is it actually... Like, they gotta do a rap battle. Just like, like start, you know what I mean? That's pretty much what they're doing at this point, actually. The shit that comes before that for the future, that's, okay, I like that, I like that. Oh, they're the Vs. Okay, they're all the Vs. I got you, I got you. Wow, you said no. Oh. The Wi Fi. The Wi Fi. Oh, I don't see radio losing its signal. They just radio waves up in here. I'm just saying. The horns are so sick. I love the, I love the like, bro, like the antlers, bro. My goodness. He's like a, uh, oh, he's terrifying.
Bro, the real question, how is radio stronger than TV, though? Yeah, you lost the rap battle. Take it out. Like, how does the radio win, though? You know what I mean? Because I would just assume new tech, better tech. But homeboy's got something. Let me just power scale him real quick. What do you mean? Put, like, a microchip? Oh, okay, no, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> okay, I'm s <laughs> eh, no. Shoot. Wait, this is so bad for us because she's literally looking for somebody right now. She's looking for anybody, so she'll take anybody already. Just send one of your, I assume, prostitutes. Bro, look at those, like, techno sharks. Okay. Charlie, long day? Oh, she was trying to hire some people. Or like, yeah. Nobody's got hope, bro. It's, it's Pentius. It's, wait, Pentius was the best idea you had? Wait, are you? She's so nice. I love Charlie, bro. She's so nice. She's so sweet. It's a shame that means she's also naive, you know? Yeah, like, it's like, it was like five minutes of screen time ago, bro. It is, though. Aw, she's so happy. There's something under his hat, bro. Okay, okay. The thing though is like, who's, who else do you take in? Like everybody sucks. Like Angel Dust is kind of my boy. I, he's kind of feel like the peak of the someone you would attract here in hell, right? Cause he's not like a malicious. He's just, is like very sexual, which is kind of fine. You know? What do you mean our first real guess? What do you mean? I guess it's fine. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Angel Dust is like, what is he? Oh, okay. Oh, you sexually harassed the staff? That's kind of crazy. Nifty, Nifty, get out of here. <laughs> nifty, run, bro. Aww. Oh, she's obsessive. I love her. I love her so much. Oh my goodness. She's literally the best character in this show. Charlie's like really great too. I really like Charlie. And Alistair, bro. This is, that's in my top three right now. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, that's actually so scary. Yeah, no, literally. Pencil, get in there. You know, I'd be, you know, I'd be curious about if, because obviously he's faking it right now so that he can, like, be a double agent, right? But, like, if he ends up actually, like, through faking it, start to like it and start to understand it. You know, start to actually, like, because he's playing along with the, with being nice and getting redeemed a little bit now. Okay, that's scary. But, like, what if he actually starts to, like, understand it a little bit that would be really interesting oh no she's like a teacher bro on the first day of class she's literally like a she'd be such a good elementary school teacher good Ooh, good rhymes good rhymes clap at least clap the game. You have four arms, like, you can do it. There we go. See, Maggie knows, bro. Did he park his ship? He 
he's the innocent kid that he can sell crack to. Charlie did. She's so hot. I love her so much, actually. I was like read. I was reading the the script. No one calls it that, Charlie. Come on. Dude, she's so the crackhead. I can't believe Charlie is literally doing a dare campaign. <laughs> Angel Dust, it's crazy. He's getting like jealous. Well, jealous might not even be the right word. Well, jealous, but it's, I think it's, it's like not jealousy. Like I hate you. It's jealousy of like, wow, I feel really bad about myself. That's kind of what I'm getting off of Angel Dust right now. Poor guy. He's like, fine. I'll just browse Valentino messaging me a million times. Oh, okay. This is such a healthy relationship. Oh my lord. Oh shit, it's getting real for a second. See how he's already used to this? He's used to it already. Wait, that was crazy. I thought they were about to go into an entire thing there. Wait, that pig had spikes. Okay, never mind. This is more important. He's literally drinking away the pain. Is it cat? The key cat? No, no, it's Pentius. Oh, but now Angel Dust is gonna look bad. Cause if he tries to tell people, then people might just think he's being jealous. We'll see though, we'll see. It's gonna make him look bad. No, Angel Dust, I don't want you to get hoed. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> that that weak hypnosis, bro. No, who's gonna Charlie? Charlie, it's it's. Oh. Don't fall for it. Come on, y'all. Please don't fall for it. Charlie, I would understand if you do, but Vaggy, you gotta clutch this. Oh, see, see, like the camera's literally there. okay. Big dub. Okay, bet. I thought they were gonna do the whole like. <laughs> okay, he sucks. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, mega lol. <laughs> Bro just became the butt of both parties. <laughs> Wait, Pentius, join us for real. That guy sucks. No, we're not gonna kill you, dog. No, Vaggy, Vaggy, yeah, come on. Aww. Dude, she's such a Disney princess. I love this girl. She reminds me of Rapunzel, bro. Very specifically, she reminds me of Rapunzel from Tangled, bro. Mmm. Wow, I love the glow effect on her eyes, bro. You can see it like around. Mmm. 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 That's pretty base. Can't we just kill him? He's feeling it, bro. He's feeling it. He's so dramatic. This guy is so annoying. Oh, all the flashbacks of his of our time with him, bro.
Bro, her hair is such a... Nifty, shut up! Damn, Nifty! <laughs> she just wanted to... Oh, you just- I just got access to your tech. Oh, that's crazy. Nifty wants a bad boy. Nifty likes bad boys. Okay, heard. Alistair, you speak your truth, bro. Wait, that was sick, bro! That's kind of- No, no, Hey, we can't just watch episode 3 right away, bro. I gotta think about episode 2 a little bit for a minute. I love this show, man. It's so fun. Bro, that little- So yeah, that little dynamic of like- I thought- You know what I thought they were going for? I'll tell you what I thought they were going for first, bro. I thought they were gonna do the thing where it's like, you know, where it's like they, Angel Dust figures out that he's a double, a that he's like a double agent, that he's a mole, and then he starts fighting Pentulus, right? And then people walk in and then people blame Angel Dust because Pentulus has been so good recently. I thought they were going with one of those, but no, they they flip, they, they played it completely different, which I really liked. What is this? Oh, it's just extra, extra credits. So I can, I can stop it there. So I, I'm glad that they played it a little differently because I, I thought that was like, it was kind of my what I was thinking was kind of tropey, so I'm glad they went a different path. Instead, they just went with the bro. We know you suck. In fact, they didn't go with that. They went with the this guy sucks so much he couldn't so bad he couldn't even successfully do this. Like he was literally just made laughing stock of both groups. Like that's actually kind of crazy, man. He literally is like, oh, what do you mean? He got caught on his first camera, bro. I'm almost sure this was the first camera he put in. He put it upside down on a bookshelf. Got caught immediately immediately lost his composure, said, boss, help me out, got made fun of, got told to kill himself, and then just started crying. Like, this guy. Uh, so that's so funny. That was actually a really kind of funny twist. Where it's just like, no, the, 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 tw the, the problem isn't that, like, oh, Angel Dust looks bad or anything like that. The problem is that he just sucks, and he's bad at what he does, you know? Um, and so he, like, is this, like, pathetic guy... But then that's exactly like a perfect setup for Charlie to be like, yeah, I'm doubling down on like, this is the place to have a second chance. I don't care if you're, if you're a double agent or not, like I'm here to redeem you. Okay. And so we're going to work on it like this, which I really like. That's, I mean, that's like, that's a, that's super feels very in character for her, right? To do that exact thing. Also, bro, Charlie's voice actress, Erica Henningsen, I'm seeing it right here on the side, bro. She was cooking this episode. I, that might sound crazy. Cause like, it wasn't even, like, a super dramatic thing, but there were, like, a couple lines that she was saying that, like, she was adding some, like, growl or whatever, and I was actually so here for that. Bro, and all the new characters, we got, we, man, we met a lot of new characters. So, what were these? The Vs? I think they were called the Vs. Um, and we've, another thing into the pile, right, where I was kind of talking at the beginning of this episode, like, all this stuff, they're, they're kind of, they're juggling a lot of different things here. Throw in this whole Alistair dynamic with, with Vox. I think his, this guy's name is Vox. Vox velvet and um valentino or valentino uh something like that i'll, I'll get the names locked oh wait i it should say on the oh look at this beautiful thing on the side wait thank you amazon it literally says their names and their voice actors so we got velvet or velvet okay i love that name bro it's literally like velvet the like the the material like the fabric but then made into a name really like that valentino and then vox and Vox is TV head. Vox is interesting. Vox is really interesting. He has a very... Dude, he has a weird, like, design. It makes me think, like, how do you end up going to hell and look like this? I guess we have a literal snake man and a moth four-armed, like, boy thing with angel dust. So I guess we have a lot of chaotic designs going on. But just straight up a TV is, like, we're getting... Like, that guy's a clock. Wait, I didn't see clock head. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy's literally a clock. I wonder how this happens. Like, what's, what's the birthing process for somebody like Clockhead versus somebody like an imp versus somebody like Charlie's unique. We know Charlie's unique versus someone like Angel Dust who's just a sinner, you know? And I say imp because of, um, I think imps were born here, actually. I think I remember that from season one of Hell of a Boss, but I don't really know, actually, because I watched that when it came out so long ago. And I, uh, yeah, so maybe I'll have to rewatch Hell of a Boss. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Moxie, my beloved. Okay, wait, let me write TV head for Vox. Yeah. Bro, their musical numbers, too, are kind of cooking. Like, y'all got this on Spotify or no? This little, like, mini rap battle between, between Vox and Alistair. 
It's just crazy. You would think you would think the TV would beat the radio. So I think it's so cool that the radio is actually kind of uh, kind of rolling and smoking. Radio got that personality, right? It, like radio just feels more nefarious to me. Like it, they really play it well. Where like the evil, oh look, he's wearing like an angelic thing. They're going to like tele television evangel or ev wait, evangelize. Wait, evangelize. TV. T a TV evangelist. I think that's how you say it. The like people on TV that like do pre stuff. He like l little bits of that flashing, um, or of just this scene. There was I think a shot of him as like a TV evangelist, which is kind of a funny. Like that's kind of a. Uh, I mean that's a dig at TV evangelists for sure. You know, which is super cool. But sorry, little tangent there. The they play like the way they're they're spooky and evil so differently. Like like Alistair's like playing with shadows which feels very, like, radio to me because radio doesn't have a visual component, you know? So for things to take place in this, like, cryptic other way, that feels a lot more, like, radio wavy. It's like you... I know it's kind of schizo, but, like, if you get what I mean. Whereas TV Vox Head, everything's, like... Like, he's doing drones. He's, like, hypnotizing people a little bit, you know? Um, he's, like, all glitchy and kind of sporadic. Like, he, he himself seems kind of, like, neurotic, you know? Where he's very quick. He's very, like, glitchy. And then Alistair is very smooth, but then he starts to crackle and get really scary. Like, the way their personalities coincide with what they are, I think, works really well. Which is kind of... I feel like that'd be so hard to write. Like, like to, to, to start with that on the conceptual level, I feel like that's a really... They did that really, really well, right? <laughs> Figuring out how their personalities would work. Valentino kind of crazy. Okay, so he's, like, possessive... He's our Angel Dust character. A lot of our characters in our main staff have these, like, antagonist-type characters, you know? Like, Charlie's got Adam. I guess that's the closest we would say, right? Angel Dust got Valentino. Alistair got Radiohead. Or, or Alistair is Radiohead, got Vox. Who else? I mean, Vaggy, we don't have anyone for. Husk, we don't have anyone for. Nifty, we don't have anyone for. Nifty, well, I feel like Vaggy, we could see an antagonist show up for at some point, in a sense. Like, in a similar way. Um, Husk Nifty seem enough of side characters that that won't happen. Angel Dust is like proto main character, low key. Oh my goodness, wait, I gotta get in there. Where was that part? I actually got surprised by that part with um when he laid in bed with the pig. <laughs> Not that I do anything, but just like when he went to bed with the pig. But like, okay, sorry, I'm saying it poorly. Uh, like right here, right here, where he was told like you won't be able to change. Cause that's the crazy thing. That means like, let me, let's just get the line. Let's just get the line right here. You actually think you can change an addict trash like you doesn't change. And it's, but the thing is it's coming. It's very, it's, it's not the voice from the voicemail cause it sounds different, but it's like the same voice, right? It's an external thing that he's heard from other people. I'm assuming Valentino that like has in like that now he's thinking back to, and it's as if it's being said to him again. Bro, but the way he look, he accepts it, right? Like this, I think is the most important part of this scene, right here, bro. This soft frown actually is crazy. Because it's what this what this tells to me. What what I what I get off of this is that this moment is something Angel Dust has had happen so many times previously, like all the time, you know. So much so that like it's not like. I'm scared. I'm I'm freaking out. It's a soft like it's like a soft despair. You know where it's like I've been here before. I feel miserable. I am horrible. I can't change. And it's but it's not news, right? It's just the same thing repeating. And so instead of there being something loud in his expression, it's very soft. It's very like it's already just there, you know? That is so telling. That is bro, animation diff. That that's actually a good move, man. Because he looks miserable, he looks uncomfortable, but not in a, you know, the way he, like, looks away slowly. It's just that kind of, like, I know. It's like, it's like, it's like, I know it and I hate it, you know? Not now, Fat Nuggets, I gotta go eat. And by eat, I mean drink. But, you know, that also tells me, which I really, which is really, really important, that his, his barrier to change, I think, is largely external, then. Look at this, you actually think you can change? Because he's, he's getting a... The idea of someone actually successfully changing that's not him is being presented through Pontius, Punlificus, whatever the hell the snake's name is. Um, pon I, I didn't write it out. Pontius, Punlificus, you know who I'm talking about. Snake Lad, right? You see Snake Lad change, he's like, damn, 
that kind of crazy. I feel kind of bad about myself because I don't think I can change. You actually think you can change? Or like there's something in the way that makes me think I, I can't change. It's not that I, I won't change, it's that I can't change, right? Because the type of person I am, like, oh, and it goes for his neck? Oh, my lord. That's really sad. Wait, Angel Dust Loki might be a really good character, actually. This was good, this was good, like, that was probably the best character moment of the entire episode. It was short, and it just hit ya, which I actually really liked. Hopefully they'll cook more with him. And then he starts drinking real. He's like, I'm drowning this, you know? So yeah, in that way, like, I think he, what's stopping him from changing is largely external. It probably has to do with, like, his, his like, like, going to drinking as an escape for those feelings, too. Where it's, like, based on instinct. It's like, he's not malicious. I don't think he's evil or malicious. I just think he's, like, a slave to a lot of problems, you know? Like an addict. Addict is such a good word that they threw in for him. So, and an addict, I think, is so much more curable than somebody like a murderer, you know? Like, I'm so much more sympathetic for somebody that is, that has been hoed by something and, like, has trouble with self-control versus somebody that is actively malicious or, like, belligerent, you know? So this is really big, especially with the whole chain thing. This stupid skit was so funny, by the way. Bro, Nifty is loving it. Vaggy is so over it. It's literally, like... This is like a, dude, a school play that you would get forced to do, bro. Like, element, like, literally a dare campaign. Oh, it's so bad. Though, I, yeah, and that part was really funny. So yeah, Angel Dust is kind of goaded. We're cooking with Angel Dust. Charlie doubling down on her thing. Also, Charlie Bedhead, actually peak fiction. Like, oh my goodness, you, maybe you don't have to comb your hair. I kind of like it. It makes you feel so real. I like you. I love you, Charlie. Oh my goodness, my sweet hellish disney princess i want to see i want to see your parents can your parents show up awesome like nifty damn like like let him sing <laughs> you see the way she immediately starts hating i hated that song why are you so lame not a bad boy and you know the craziest thing about this statement she thought he was a bad boy previously when he was showing up in his ship and getting rolled and smoked by Alistair. She was actually like, dang, he kind of a bad boy. But now that he's actually like, like this is, your maid is literally antagonizing somebody when they are trying to like say sorry and be like a little better. That's kind of a crazy thing to have as your maid. But hey, she's in hell. She, she'll get redeemed too. That's my homegirl nifty, bro. I'm trying to nift. <laughs> Any nifters in the chat? Yeah, who else? Who else? Anything else to talk about? This was a, dude, this was a solid episode. Are you putting glue on your gun? Oh, he's putting glitter on his gun. This guy. I liked this girl's design. What was her name? Velvet. I keep forgetting her name. Oh, she's got a V in her phone. Oh, because they're the Vs. Oh, because they're Vox Valentino and Velvet. Oh, well, it wouldn't have worked to get Alistair in because Alistair it starts with an A. What would you name him? Valister? I mean... <laughs> Or maybe they, oh, because he was like, yo, join the Vs. And then Alistair said no. See, so yeah, I wonder if there was a renaming part in that. That like, dude, wait, okay, random, random. A V is an upside down A. Alistair is an A pointing up V for the Vs, bro. Even their shapes are, are, are like polar opposites. That's kind of fun. I wonder if that was intentional. I could totally see that having been intentional. Yeah. I can't believe the best you came up with was freaking the snake, dude. That's such an L. That is such an L. Also, these black and white guys, get me in there. I actually liked them. They were cool. What the heck? What the hell? Uster just brings in the, the coolest people out of nowhere. And like, ah, uh, and there's this like core line. Bro, last thing I'll say. Last thing I'll say for this episode. Um, Alistair's got like a crazy like like patchwork doll aesthetic that i really really like like this here there's there's the sewing needles like stuck into this dude there's like this like kind of torn apart stitching or whatever that we see but then and you know everybody kind of looks like that but then later when he's right here when he's like going full spooky scary mode up in his up in his tower right 
Oh, look, you can see, like, how, wait, look at that landscape. F whatever I'm talking about. Look at this. There's, like, um, this white orb in the sky. The hotel's actually, like, on top. Well, we get a good look of hell here. Look at that. And we can see, we can see heaven, like, like right up, up here, you know? That's kind of cool. Huh, and why is there, there's a moon. I guess I didn't think there'd be a, like, there's a moon in hell or whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Write that down. Write that down. Show me Alistair one more time. Him looking all spooky. Yeah, yeah, this part, this part. We're skipping. Yeah. Like, when he gets big and spooky like this. Look at this. We see that same, like, cross-stitching type thing. Where there's, like, the, the little, like, cuts in the fabric or whatever. All along his, up his neck. So he's got this weird, like, sewing. It makes me think of sewing. Which, like, sewing and radio, like, ooh, that kind of, that kind of, I don't know why, but it kind of feels like, like, I would be sewing while listening to the radio, right? Like, I'd be doing, like, my occult, it's like occultish sewing, which is a really weird and cool parallel to Vox, which has this, like, this, like, very modern, like, mind hypnotize you with the, ooh, I'm gonna microchip you, you know? whatever type aesthetic like they're they're so polar opposite in like their aesthetics which is so cool i love that man this this guy's goaded i actually really like this guy oh why did he leave? he left for seven years remember he left for seven years this is literally me losing any game of any online game wait box is me Wait, let me write that down. Alistair gone for seven years. We know that's important. Right here. I'm just like, ah! You know what I'm saying? Seven years gone. Gone for seven years. Hmm. Where? What do you mean gone? You can just leave hell? I guess there could be other layers. I think there are other layers, right? I thought it would actually make sense. Because, like, it, it, it doesn't look that big when we had that zoom out, you know? This doesn't look that big, all things considered. Oh, and the big clock's in the middle. I assume these are like the different districts, right? But, so in that way, um, there's probably other circles of hell. And so I guess, what, he ran to another circle of hell? What were you doing, bro? What were you doing? Is this only where all the sinners go? Maybe that's how it works. Ooh, I'm so excited to learn more about this world, bro. They got a real interesting world. Look, look at this, like, this, like, like this place down there. This, like, the hotel's up here. What is this little place? Is that where they're broadcasting from? No, it looks a bit like Japanese or something. Like the architecture of this little this little building here. What is going on? So much to learn about this location, man. But yeah, this was a really juicy episode. Um, lots of new characters introduction. Ready to see where they go with that. Alistair again, looking real spooky, real mysterious. Um, angel dust arc growing right. Apprehensions towards change. Addict. His ghosts of his past that are haunting him that are keeping him from being better. It's not that he doesn't want to be better, it's that he doesn't think he can, that he deserves it. Something like that, right? Which is a really interesting difference from I think how most people in hell are right now, which gets gives a unique way that he can definitely get redeemed. I think he I think he has mad potential. Charlie being a goat per usual, nifty, I don't know what's going on in your skull. You're crazy. <laughs> Love you for it, though. But yeah, honestly, that I think will do it for this episode. Episode 2 of Has Been Hotel. On to the next episode 3. Should be exciting. I'm very excited to see. Give me two... Wait, two musical numbers each? Oh, my Spotify about to be chock full by the end of this. I hear you. But yeah, on to the next episode 3. Should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Come on down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or other Has Been Hotel fans there. But until then, till next episode, episode 3. That's all I got for tonight. I will be seeing you then.